Hello, it's day 140, and I want to talk about finding exercise. Way back in the day when I was very entrenched in diet culture and the only reason I was working out was in order to be skinny and perfect, I got a lot of really weird advice, and I internalized the idea that fat people are only fat because they are lazy. For example, I heard the old gem, you should take the stairs instead of the elevator. You should park way out in the parking lot to get your steps in. You should do a couple push-ups during the commercials of your favorite show. And there, that is how you will make yourself skinny. And like with most things in diet culture, mm, there was a tiny, teeny tiny little kernel of truth in there. The idea that you should try to find exercise throughout your day rather than just depending on a block of exercise time in your calendar I mean, it's good advice. The idea that you can do more for yourself by literally doing more. Now, of course, the reasoning behind that idea was all wrong. You know, you should try to be skinny. You should try to be a supermodel, you know, all the time. Only eat salad. But, but I do actually like the idea of just peppering exercise in throughout your day. Some days you can't get to the gym. Today I couldn't get to the gym. So, what did I decide to do? I decided to mow an entire acre with a push mower. It was awful, but it definitely was exercise. And afterward, when I came back in, I was totally drenched in sweat, drenched in sweat. And so I thought, you know what would be fun before my shower? Let's just jump on the scale and see what that number says. And if I had used that number, my after mowing and losing all that water weight number instead of the actual number that I usually use, the morning weight, um, you know, I would have probably been a little bit happier. But I am smarter now. Is smarter the right word? I don't think smarter is the right word, but we're going to go with it. I'm smart enough now to know that that was all just water weight I lost. It was very hot outside, and I was very dehydrated coming in. So it wasn't really a victory in that sense, but I do know that I did work hard, and it definitely was exercise. I guess my point today is I'm really frustrated by the fact that exercising and fitness has been tainted in such a way that it's just seen as a means to an end. It's just seen as a means to, to the end, like, so you can fit in that bridesmaid's dress, or so you can look good on Instagram. I wish that more people treated it as actually just being fit, actually feeling good and being yourself. That's my pipe dream. That's what I hope for the world in the coming decades, that maybe we can come off it a little bit. Maybe we can kind of get out of our own asses when it comes to, like, the perfect body shape. I don't think it'll happen, but I hope so. I hope that people out there can start to appreciate what their bodies can do just for the sake of being able to do it.